Hello there, Taurus. Welcome to your weekly readings. Um, without further ado, let's just go into your reading. The first five cards, the first row, uh, represents your love life, and the bottom row, the bottom five cards, represent the general energy for you. So it's more like a general reading, whereas this is a love reading, okay? Um, I pre-shuffle the cards, mainly because my hand is still healing, and it would take way too much screen time to do all the shuffling. So um, let's get into your reading. So in love and romance and relationships, I feel as if many of you, um, you're in a relationship here, okay? It's like a relationship where things are kind of built up. Um, marriage, engagement, um, children, there are a lot of factors that are kind of keeping you and the other person tethered and tied in together, a lot of obligations. And I also feel as well, you know, financial considerations that are also keeping you tied to this person. I feel like there might be some afflictions, either, um, this is a, a card about toxicity, so it, it can deal with um, um, an emotional situation, like a relationship that feels very emotionally heavy, it's very codependent, or it could even be one person dealing with health issues and the other person is like, through thick and thin, I cannot leave this person. So there's that, and you know, you are a fixed sign, so when you're in for, uh, into something, you're in it for keeps. So I feel like it's uh, very difficult for you to break your way out of this, okay? Some of you could be dealing with a water sign. So this is a, um, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising. And when it's in the reverse, it's almost like they don't really love themselves. They don't see themselves as attractive, beautiful, handsome. They are experiencing a lot of self-doubt. They are experiencing a, a crisis when it comes to their self-esteem as well. They could also be dealing with health issues. So I feel like, you know, when you met, the relationship was really good. But this person, it feels like they're no longer in love and they're staying in an empty situation. You yourself could be staying in it for financial uh, considerations as well. The next card I have here is the Ten of Cups, which is a marriage, okay? And this is what um, propelled me to, compelled me, excuse me, to talk about this in a marriage situation. The love is not there anymore, but there might be property, children, uh, time spent built up over time with the other person. So there are a lot of things here that are at stake and it's really tying you to the relationship. So the love might not be there anymore. Um, <clears throat> the other person might be wanting to walk away or you are wanting to walk away. So I feel like the energy for this month is all about, you know, what do I do about the situation where I am emotionally depleted, where I am emotionally not invested in it anymore. Um, the Six of Pentacles, child support, alimony, financial considerations, keeping the two of you together. In rare instances with the Ten of Cups, um, in the reverse with the Six of Pentacles, it can indicate a situation where one person is already looking kind of outside the relationship and there's already somebody else in the picture that they're either having an affair with, an emotional affair with, or that's really sparking their interest. So for many of you, what I feel here is you have the Knight of Wands, and this is a fire sign, Sagittarius, um, Leo, or Aries, Sun, Moon, or Rising. The Knight of Wands is somebody that might be culturally different from you, okay? They hail from a different land. They have a different set of values. They have different belief system. They have a different worldview. They come into your life. Uh, very excitedly so there they bring a, a breath of fresh air and this is a person that is very adventurous they move fast they talk fast they're very passionate um, you like this person and for those who are single as well I feel like there is somebody that's different from you culturally ethnically they hail from a different land they might be far from you geographically as well and there's a lot of communication happening between you and this person, and I feel like you really like them. The nature of the night, nights don't really, especially this night, they don't really stick around for a long time. So they might be, you know, here today, gone tomorrow. 
they might also be looking at their next adventure. They're coming in quite fast, and I feel almost this element of seduction about them, okay? It's like you're devoting a lot of time to this relationship, and there's somebody that is um, interested in you or you have an attraction towards, and you're giving them some attention, but most of your attention is still with the other person. Um, and I feel like if these are the two people that you're dealing with, one is a water sign where the, it, it doesn't even have to be a water sign, but the relationship feels very heavy. The other one is a fire sign. And once again, they don't even have to be a fire sign, but the relationship feels very expansive, very playful, very childlike and, and, and different. So the energies are very contradictory and are very like oppositional. And I'm sensing here, this is kind of like a test, okay? A test of your relationship. Is it durable? It's also a test of yourself. Are you able to let go of your fears that this person, as exciting as they are, as passionate as they are, are they going to stick around? If they're not going to stick around, do you still want to take a chance with them? So you have some some big things that you're thinking about here, possibly foregoing one relationship to be with another person. For those who are single, I'm sensing that you might have left a very significant relationship. And you guys, you guys don't date lightly. I feel like for many of you, fixed signs in general, uh, Leo, uh, Aquarius, uh, Taurus, and uh, what's the other one? Uh, Scorpios you guys want the whole package you want you know all or nothing when it comes to your relationship you might have recently left a very significant relationship behind that left a really sour taste in your mouth you're going out dating and you might be dating two people actually i feel like the fire sign is trustworthy and i feel like you have trust issues when it comes to this fire signs are they sticking around do they like me are they flirtatious are they like this with everybody or am i special and i feel like you are special you are special they're coming in and um because they're in the upright position i feel like the friendship the the light-hearted energy needs to develop first before they can give their heart away so they are also very very guarded about you they need to make sure that you're um, that you're serious before they invest. So I see kind of like both people on the fence, but I feel like this person is making more of an effort. Um, for some of you, there's somebody coming to see you, somebody that is, you know, um, making suggestions. Let's go here. Let's go there. I'll come pick you up at eight. Um, or, you know, let me travel to come see you. So if they're at a distance, I feel like plans and things being made. Um, what's really affecting your relationship sector is I feel finances, okay? Do I have enough money to travel? Do I have enough money to take care of the kids? Do I have enough money to take care of the house? Do I have enough money to repair things? So I feel like finances is really heavily on your mind with this spread. And I feel like whenever you feel financially rocky, you're not able to express love and you're not able to be carefree and, and expressive. Whereas when you're feeling very abundant, that's when you're very generous. So I feel like don't let finances affect relationships. We can go on dates that are free. We can even entertain, you know, our significant other or do romantic gestures for one another without, um, spending a penny okay so it's just a matter of being a little bit more creative with um with this energy so singles you've got suitors i would say a fire sign is a lot more um is a lot more serious with you okay and um let's move on to the general reading here so what's happening at work what's happening in your environment what messages do they people want you to know first of all we have the empress and the Empress deals with beauty, attraction, fertility. You are very fertile this month. So for those who are sexually active, you know, be very, very careful because this is forgetfulness, male and females. And especially if you're dabbling with multiple partners, be very, very, very careful. So that's just um, a little bit of a warning sign. And I know it's a short week, you know, but um, abundance is coming in. 
So this is overall, you know, being careful about, you know, your um, method of contraception and just uh, taking time, taking time, allowing people to come to you, okay? So being patient. Um, what I feel in the work front, and this is heavily work-related, there is somebody, possibly a boss or supervisor or somebody that's overseeing your work, okay? Um, they don't have to be a male, but the, their energy is somebody that is kind of impatient. They like to get things done. They like to talk and then have the other person listen, okay? And when they're in the reverse, they could be a little bit um, forgetful. They might say, have told you to do something. And then you do it and they're like, no, 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 I didn't tell you to do that. So there's going to be a little bit of opposition when it comes to supervisors and bosses and things like that. And um, most of you guys, your energy is like this, where you get your work done. You retain information really well. You don't forget your obligations. But I feel like there's somebody that is a little bit impatient. And so just, you know, exercise um, temperance, okay? Okay. Um, let the misunderstanding sort of sort themselves out. This is also a card about, as well, having a lot of information or a lot of responsibilities and then feeling as if you're kind of left in the dark to your own devices. So it's like you have work that's really going to allow you to stand out from your peers. It's like a, a, a higher level of responsibilities when it comes to work and you're trying to impress this person, supervisor, boss, or whoever. And um, it's like you're functioning without protocols, without a guideline, without a rubric to follow. And so this is a week where you're being tested on the relationship front. Who's right for me? Can I trust to open myself up to this person? And then you're also being tested on the um, work front. And they're testing you in a way that's like they will give you responsibilities because they know you're capable of handling it. So it's a matter of overcoming your self-doubt. It's a matter of like taking the time and really problem solve and troubleshoot and figuring things out without having to defer to other people's judgment. So it's really a good week overall for you to own up to the fact that I'm really, you know, capable. And then on top of that, I'm really, really good at problem solving, making things easier for other people. So I feel like this is a very, very good week. And, um, the only challenge is own up to your own power, okay? Don't let other people kind of make you feel wobbly. Make Shake your foundation of your confidence. So don't let that happen. I feel like the middle of the week is going to show you all of these things, all of these facets about yourself and how capable you are when it comes to, you know, um, dealing with um, tight, time constraints, dealing with situations where you don't have all the information, and trusting yourself and knowing that you're capable rather than deferring to other people's judgment. All right? So Taurus, I wish you all the best. Okay, I'll be back next week. So um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.